You know, I don't want you to overcomplicate cleaning cast iron. There's several different methods that you can use. Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, that is not what I recommend. Well, that way is not quite so bad, you know, and he's had a lot of practice for 20 something years. But folks, that's the pre-wash. I'm gonna show you how to clean it proper and it'll last a lifetime. Hey, thank y'all for stopping under the barn. And today, what are we talking about? Cleaning cast iron the proper way. There are all kinds of methods, but we're gonna show you the simplest methods to cleaning cast iron. And folks, if you're having a little trouble, we also have a cast iron playlist that will just list off what you need. You can just go to whatever category you're looking for, click on that, and that video will show up. But we're gonna show you the simple methods it takes to cleaning cast iron from start to finish. So you've seen us do an unboxing video maybe not long ago in the Marquette skillet, and maybe you've bought a brand new skillet or a Dutch oven that's right out of the box. Now folks, when we're talking about cleaning, and I'm talking cleaning for the very first time, I don't know where that skillet has been, I don't know where that Dutch oven has been, so what am I gonna do first of all? Hot water and a soft sponge. And I just want you to take that to some hot water, put her in there, just scrub it around really good everywhere, inside, outside. Make sure you put it on the stove top on about a medium heat to go ahead and dry that water out and then re-season. But that's cleaning the first time. Now, if you've got something and you get a brand new Dutch oven or something, and some of them can have some really gummy residue in the bottom of them, they can. Now, I don't mind you using like some Dawn dishwashing soap to that right off the bat, just some warm water, give it a good scrubbing with that sponge, but make sure you rinse it two or three times really good to get all that soap out of there and then back on that heat surface to dry it out. The biggest tip I got for you for cleaning cast iron is clean it immediately when you get through cooking with it. That's when it's going to clean the fastest and the easiest. Well, let's talk about minimal cleaning. And, that, and I'm not saying minimal as in, oh, I'm just gonna barely clean it. I'm talking things that are easy to clean out of a skillet or a Dutch oven. Say we bake some good biscuits in here, some of them buttermilk biscuits right out of the cookbook. Well, folks, a lot of times when you cook biscuits, all you gotta do is turn that thing up on its edge, take a rag, wipe any residue that might be in there, because if you had butter in there or what, it's all gonna come out of there pretty clean. Make sure you get all the debris, anything that's left over out of there, and then set it back on that heat surface and re-season. So maybe you've got something that's stuck just a little more, not cornbread or not even biscuits, but you need just a little help to get it off. Just take you a little coarse salt, put it in there, and just rub around on them places. That will just pull out of there oh so easy. As much as you need, I have covered a skillet plumb up with it if I need to. Now, you can take a soft towel to clean that with or cut you a potato in half. And now, as you're cleaning there with that potato, also there is starch that is coming out of there, which is gonna help that clean as well. So a potato's got you some liquid in there that you need, really, that is not harmful to cast iron, and it's gonna help sort of make a lubricant for that salt as you're grinding around. You can rinse that because you had salt in it, just rinse it with warm water, set it back on that heat surface to dry it out, and then you can re-season. So let's talk about the tools that I love to use to clean cast iron. A soft sponge, wet, scrub it around there, it comes right off. It's not abrasive, you're not gonna hurt anything, and it will clean it. After that, I would say if something is a little more stubborn in there, and I'm looking for something to get, I get a soft bristle brush because I don't want something that's gonna eat away at my seasoning if I'm using, but a soft bristle brush will do that. But my favorite and my number one tool that I use to clean cast iron or stir with is what? Our mesquite spatula. Because folks, when you're using wood against cast iron, you're not hurting your seasoning. I don't want you to get in there with any kind of metal utensil or a piece of plastic and go to scraping on a piece of cast iron because if it's plastic and this is hot, you have melted some of the plastic. If it is really abrasive, you're scratching your cast iron. So wood, number one thing. Now, there's one thing that I know a lot of y'all are using and people have asked me on YouTube how I feel about them and that is a chain mail scrubber. Uh, you know, sure, the way they're made, they're sort of like a mesh screen in a way, and the 
edges all are rounded. But to me, that's still a little abrasive because there is metal going against metal. Uh, if you're using them and you're liking them and they're not hurting nothing, hey, I ain't telling you to change. I'm just telling you we don't use one. I wouldn't use them on a piece of brand new cast iron or a piece of cast iron that really isn't seasoned well. Remember I told you there at the first, the best way to keep cast iron clean is to clean it right when you get through using it. Yeah, now if you've got a little excess grease in there or something, go ahead and wipe that out with a rag, paper towel, something, and get you some hot water that you either have boiling on the stove or you got in the sink right there. Just get you some hot water running because folks, you're gonna get this skillet back to hot, I mean hot, where you can see whatever was in there begins to bubble up just a little. Now, take that, either pour that hot water in there, get that mesquite spatula, and just run it around there, or a soft sponge. A lot of people ask me, you know, I've got them cornbread pans, you know, that's got all them little corn cobs in it. Them things is the hardest things to clean in the world, but hot water and steam and a soft bristle brush, and you won't have no problem at all. But I have to tell you this, your skillet has to be hot and your water has to be hot. Because if you shock it from one extreme to the other, that cast iron is apt to crack. Now say you was in really hurry to sit down and eat because you thought everybody else at the table was gonna get all the food while you was cleaning the piece of cast iron and you let it set till you got through eating with the rest of the family. Hey, I'm not gonna be down on you too bad, I'm not. But be sure that you rewarm that skillet when you do it, I mean to get it hot and then start with that hot water, same process. Now, a lot of folks will tell me they fry something, maybe they fry some bacon and it sticks in that piece of cast iron. They wipe the grease out and then just pour water in it, get it to boiling, and then they just clean it. Well, folks, I've never been a fan of boiling water in cast iron because when you boil that water, you're gonna turn loose some of that seasoning in there. So I don't recommend boiling water in cast iron. I'm gonna clean it with steam and hot water because that steam evaporates the water and the steam is what's cleaning. So we're not boiling water in cast iron. Now, I get a lot of questions. They say, I can't, you know, I'm, I've been camping out. How, do, how am I gonna clean my cast iron this way? It's the very same method that applies to all of it, whether you're in the house, on the moon, in the barn, out at the wagon. On the moon? Yes, they because don't cast iron on the moon? if they don't, they need to take some up there and cook some bacon and eggs. I guarantee you everybody will come up there and visit. So remember, all you gotta do is keep some hot water on that fire pit or on that fire grate, and you can clean anything you got. But as we're speaking about cooking outside and like that, a lot of people ask the question, you know, I'm burning some old sorry wood and it soots up the bottom of my Dutch oven or my skillet. Well, folks, before you get ready to cook on that old fire, if it's a real sooty smoke, just take you a light coat of vegetable and rub on that. It'll make that wipe off there and clean up so much easier and it works great on coffee pots as well. So let's talk about the myth of putting soap in cast iron. Is it a truth, a fairy tale, a lie, or a maybe so? Well, when I hear about somebody cooking in cast iron and they want to clean it with soap, I go back to the Beverly Hillbillies and Granny Clampett out there over that big wash pot making lye soap. Well, folks, lye soap was very harsh and very hard on cast iron. Now, there is a lot of soaps that people use today that aren't that harsh. Do I use soap in cast iron? No, I do not, except for one thing. I have an old 12 inch oven that I fry fish in. And you know when you fry fish and all that cornmeal in there, it is the only oven that I own that ever sees some soap and hot water. Cleans up oh so easy, but remember, you gotta dry that fish fryer out just the same way and re-season it. We do get some questions every once in a while. It says, oh my gosh, I stuck mine in a sink and I washed it with soap. Well, folks, if you've done this maybe once, maybe twice, you ain't ruined that piece of cast iron, especially if it's a well-seasoned piece of cast iron. Just make sure that you get it out of there, rinse it good with hot water, put it on that heat surface and dry it out, then re-season. But folks, there's also some periodic maintenance to the outside of that cast iron that we need to take care of, that we need to clean. Now, years ago when propane or natural gas, or even when you was cooking on wood stoves and you get that old sooty buildup on there because it wasn't such of a clean fuel and then you get some grease on there 
and then you build up something that can get as thick as maybe a half inch. My grandmother called it insulation. Well, folks, that stuff is just as easy to clean too because you're going to get that skillet as hot as you can stand it. And then what? You can take a putty knife and just peel that stuff off. I like to do it outside on a burner or a grill, and then you can just scrape that stuff off. But when you do that, remember, now we've got that skillet back down to bare. So we need to put us a light coat of seasoning on the outside too. Put that on a heat surface and let that mold to it. How do I clean a Dutch oven? Same way you clean the skillets is what I do. When you're cooking something in a Dutch oven, and say it is something that maybe is gonna bubble and splitter and splatter, or it rises plumb up to the top, because I've had cobblers get so big that they will stick here to the lid. Now, that's where this wooden spatula is gonna come in handy right off the bat, because you can scrape most of that off, but hot water and steam will do the same thing, and you can clean that right up, re-season. So I want you all to raise your hand. Everybody back there in the bleachers, everybody, there's, oh my God, the crowd is big today. Raise your hand if you feel more confident in the way that you can clean cast iron now. Oh my gosh, everybody's got their hand up, even Sadie, yes. And all you folks at home better have your hand up too because there's no fear in cleaning cast iron and taking care of it. Hey, we have so much stuff on that playlist, on our cast iron playlist, but if you have more questions about cast iron and cleaning, seasoning, rust, anything you want to talk about, be sure and comment down there below because, hey, we might do another one of these or a live Q&A about cast iron with any problem that you have. Ooh, folks, we got something coming up special we do next time on a Sunday. We are going to do what? A live cook along. We are. So be sure and check the community tab page over there because we're going to have listed what you need, the time it's going to be, because we want everybody to gather up in the kitchen and we are going to cook us up something out of what? Our brand new cookbook, Comfort Food the Cowboy Way. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed this very much because we sure did. Oh my gosh, I like to forgot. Look at all these puppies that have gathered up and they usually always boycott a video that has no food involved. But being a good dad I am, I have brought everybody a treat. Here you go, Meiji. Cletus, you're gonna have a treat too. Big, Duker, there's yours. Say to Lou. And we'll give you a little dance right there at the end because Everybody's happy and the cleaning cast iron. And it is with great pride, honor, and pleasure that I tip my hat to all our service men and all our women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying no matter where we're at. We commend you, we do. The rest of you, come on in here close because I won't give you a hug. God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the I'm gonna keep my cast iron clean trail. Dry it off and then folks, make sure you put it on a heat surf a heat surf. We heat surfing. Yes. <laughs> when that hot water hits that hot steaming pan, it. No, we're going to back it up again.